Hi, I'm Tim Jarrett, Director of Product Management, and we're talking about five essential steps to shift security left. Step two is integrate as you code. When we're working with organizations who want to integrate security into the continuous integration, continuous delivery process, the overriding principle is that you want to integrate as early in the life cycle as you can, practically speaking. The reason for this is you're trying to create a nice tight feedback loop between discovery of a problem and a security issue in the customer's code and bringing that back to a developer to fix. If you're asking a developer to fix something that they've just coded, it's much faster and cheaper than asking them to fix something that they wrote six to nine months ago, among other reasons, because the developer may no longer be on that project. So if you can integrate the security testing in the con continuous delivery pipeline, it's better than integrating it after or testing it after the applications in production. If you can integrate it earlier in continuous integration, it's even better. And if you can do security testing just as the developer is writing the code so they get instant feedback, it's better still. We want to enable developers to be able to do application security testing, but that doesn't mean that they should be left entirely to their own devices. For one thing, most developers don't have a thorough understanding of the threat space that their applications will face in the same way that application security professionals do. For another, Developers are incentivized to deliver their code as quickly to market as possible, which can sometimes set up a conflict between fixing a security issue rather than just accepting it and deciding to fix it later. Ideally, you should be doing application security as a partnership between development and security, where security defines what's acceptable from a security quality level, and developers implement the testing and then address issues as they come up. When it comes to deciding when in development to actually perform security testing, there are a couple of practical considerations that come into play. One is the type of application that you're working with. Web applications that are developed for using modern development practices like microservices can be tested quickly and easily, testing each component individually making it easier for you to test the whole application as part of a continuous integration pipeline. Whereas legacy applications that may be more monolithic may take longer to test and may require you to shift testing a little later in the life cycle, maybe on a nightly or other scheduled basis. Applications written in modern development languages uh, may be able to benefit from tools that perform security testing directly in the developer's IDE while the developer codes. But those tools are not available for every language, so you may need to defer testing to a later stage in the pipeline. And there are some types of security testing that have to be performed on a full working application, meaning that you want to defer that testing until the application is in some sort of integration test environment, such as dynamic web application testing, which requires a running web application to perform the test. 